Our goal is to build great-looking glasses that deliver personal superintelligence and a feeling of presence using realistic holograms. And these ideas combined are what we call the metaverse. Now, we are focused on designing glasses with a few clear values. Number one, they need to be great glasses first. Number two, the technology needs to get out of the way. Number three, take super intelligence seriously. So with all that said, uh, we do have some new glasses to show you today. And I want to start with these, the next generation of Ray-Ban Meta glasses. Now, these are the original and iconic design. I think that this is actually the most popular glasses design in history. And now, with double the battery life, I wear them all day. They never run out of battery. It's got 3K video recording, double our previous resolution for sharper, smoother, and more vivid videos. These are all shot with Ray-Ban Meta. Now, today, I am excited to introduce a feature that we call Conversation Focus. It's a new feature coming soon that is going to be able to amplify your friends' voices in your ear. So if you're in a noisy restaurant, uh, you're basically going to be able to turn up the volume on your friends or whoever you're talking to. We are also improving live AI. Uh, as we optimize battery and energy efficiency, meta AI is going to transition from being something that you invoke when you have a question to a service that is running all the time and helping you out throughout the day. Now, to be clear, we're not there yet on all-day live AI use. This is one of the major technology challenges that we're still working through. Uh, but today, you can use live AI for about an hour or two straight. Uh, let's cut to Chef Jack Mancuso, who's coming to us live from a kitchen on Meta's campus preparing for the after party. How's it going, Chef? All right, so uh, what do you think? Maybe let's make, um, I don't know, what should we make? Maybe like a steak sauce, maybe Korean-inspired type thing, you know, just to show what uh, the live AI is like. Yeah, let's try it. It's not something I've made before, so I could definitely use the help. Hey, Meta, start live AI. Starting live AI. I love the setup you have here with soy sauce and other ingredients. How can I help? Hey, can you help me make a Korean inspired steak sauce for my steak sandwich here? You can make a Korean inspired steak sauce using soy sauce, sesame oil. What do I do first? What do I do first? You've already combined the base ingredients. So now grate a pear to add to the sauce. What do I do first? You've already combined the base ingredients, so now grate the pear and gently combine it with the base sauce. All right, I think the Wi-Fi might be messed up. Sorry, back to you, Mark. It's all good. You know what? It's all good. It's, uh, the irony of the whole thing is that you spend years making technology and then the Wi-Fi at the uh, day kind of <laughs> catches you. All right, that's the next generation of Ray-Ban Meta. We're really excited about this. They're available now, starting at 379. Now today, I am excited to add to our Oakley collection and announce the brand new Oakley Meta Vanguard. They're also designed with swappable Oakley Prism Shield lenses for different light conditions, you know, different styles. Um, you can customize this iconic design however you want. Oakley Meta Vanguard. All right, we are selling them for $4.99. Pre-orders start now, and we're going to ship them on October 21st. This is Meta Ray-Ban Display. These are glasses with the classic style that you'd expect from Ray-Ban, but they're the first AI glasses with a high-resolution 
display. And a whole new way to interact with them, the meta neural band. That's this guy. One of the most important and frequent things that we all do on our phones is send messages. So when we were designing these meta Ray-Bans, we wanted to make it really easy to send and receive messages. And look, Boz is messaging me right now. All right, now, okay, I could go ahead and I could dictate with my voice, I could send a voice clip, but I've got this neural band, and it's silent. And now, and you know, a lot of the time you're around other people. So it's um, good to just be able to type without anyone seeing. And um, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm up to about 30 words a minute on this. Um, you can get pretty fast. Uh, want to try a video call? I think we should. <laughs> what do you think? All right. Um, all right. So I think our call will be coming in any moment now. Um, Boss, what's up, video call? There we go. Uh-oh. Well, I... Well, let's see what happened there. That's too bad. Um, I don't know what happened. Um, maybe Boz can try calling me again. All right. Well, I got a missed video call. Okay, there's the, the actual video call. All right. I'm just going to pick that up with my, uh, with my neural band. This is, uh, you know, it happens. Yeah, let's, uh, what do you think? Let's just go ahead and... Boss, what's up, video call? Uh, let's go for a fourth. <laughs> so, um, so now I'm going to be able to open up Meta AI with, uh, with a subtle tap that you're probably not even going to see. Play California Dreamin'. From Spotify... Here's California Dreamin' by the Mamas and the Papas. All right, and if I want to adjust the volume, I act like there's a volume control in front of me, and I can just turn it. And there we go. This time it's a This Wi-Fi is, this Wi-Fi is brutal. Yeah, you want to check this out? Yeah, let me get it going right now. All right. We're ready for it. Okay. Now, I don't know about you. When I watch TV... Oh, we had a... I accidentally exited. That's my fault. That's my fault. It's all good. Okay. We're good now. It's really live. This is, that's how we prove that it's live. Yeah. Okay. So now, like I was saying... Um, When I watch TV, I pretty much always have the subtitles on. I can hear fine, but I find that it just makes it easier to follow along. But if you have an issue hearing, then I think that this is going to be a game changer. Yeah, I agree. And it's also cool. It can do translation. So if I'm talking to somebody who speaks a different language than me, I'll get a translation in my native language right on the display, real-life subtitles. There you go. All right, should we show the camera? we got to show the camera. For everyone who loves the, the Ray-Ban Metas, the number one request we get is the ability to see the picture before they take it and also after they take it before they share it. And finally, with the, with the viewfinder, we have a chance to do it. Should we show them? Let's do it. All right, so let me just go ahead and pull up the camera. I got a lot of missed calls from you. Yeah. Um, I, was trying, I don't know what happened. I was trying to call you. I don't you. know what happened. Were you busy? Yeah, you know, all right. All right, what should we take? You got some sick shoes, man. Some Alex Alpert Oakley's yeah, here. Yeah, there you go, all right. I'll take, take some photos. You know what? Let's go ahead and take a video just because we missed that opportunity before. Thank you. Say hi. You want to wave? All right. There you go. Um, and um, Here, I got something to show them. Yeah. You want to show the, uh, the case? So the show charging the, case the for the glasses. Case. This holds nice cool. and flat. Yeah. Fits in your pocket. Fits in your bag. And then, look at that. Pops open for charging mode. Yeah. There you go. All right. So I've been, so I just take photos really simply and then I can just, you know, go ahead and you can just browse through them and look at them after. 
It's, uh... um, the last thing that I want to show is a glimpse of how this is going to work with agentic AI. And you know, the basic idea here is that you know, we all have dozens of conversations throughout the day. And if you're anything like me, then in every conversation, there are normally like five things that you want to follow up on. You know, maybe there's something you're supposed to do. Maybe there's a conversation that you know, this reminded you that you need to have. Um, maybe someone just said something that you weren't sure about and wanted to confirm or want more context on. But you know, the thing is, it's tough to follow up while you're in the middle of a conversation. So if you're anything like me, I, you, you probably you don't, and, and then you just forget a lot of these things. So the promise of glasses and AI is that they're going to help with this over time. So you just start a live AI session, and the glasses are going to be able to see what you see, hear what you hear, and they're going to be able to go off and think about it, and then go come back and help you. And um, so we got Meta Ray-Ban Display, our first AI glasses with high-resolution display, and the Meta Neural Band, the world's first mainstream neural interface. Um, the glasses are going to come in two colors. Uh, they're going to come in black and sand. And um, they also all come with transition lenses, so that you can wear them indoors. They turn into sunglasses when you go outside. And you are going to be able to buy the set for $7.99 in stores, where you can get demos as well, on September 30th. This is our fall 2025 glasses line. Uh, we have got the next generation of Ray-Ban Meta, including our special edition. You've got the Oakley Meta Houstons that we released in the summer. You've got the Oakley Meta Vanguard for performance. And now you've got the Meta Ray-Ban display those are our fall 2025 glasses. Meta Horizon Studio. Now, over the last year, we've released a number of AI tools to generate meshes, textures, TypeScript, audio, skyboxes, and a lot more, so that way creators can make higher quality worlds in just a fraction of the time. Meta Horizon Engine. This engine is fully optimized for bringing the metaverse to life. It is much faster, performance and to load things, much better graphics, much easier to create with. Now you're going to be able to easily create infinite connected spaces that look way, way better with realistic physics and interaction. All right, now to check this out, what this engine can do, let's walk through some of the new experiences that we're rolling out. Now first, the, the graphic fidelity means that hyperscape spaces are now really quite something. Now, I showed a prototype of this last year, and today we are rolling out early access to Hyperscape Capture. So you can just use your Quest headset to scan a room in just a few minutes and turn it into an immersive, true-to-life world. We're launching a new entertainment hub that we are calling Horizon TV. And, and we are working with a bunch of great partners to include a bunch of movies and TV and live sports and, and music. So I'm excited to announce that Disney Plus is coming to Horizon TV and bring along content from Hulu and ESPN. We're also partnering with Universal Studios, a Universal Pictures, an iconic horror company, Blumhouse. So you can watch horror movies like Black Phone or Megan with 3D special effects that now will take over your space.